Amen. <clears throat> well, I think it's time to have a, a little word. What do you think? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to stand before your people. Yes. And we pray, God, that that which is said and done tonight would bring you glory, honor, and praise that we might better understand, God, some of the efforts that you've made to keep us, God, and return us to right fellowship with you. We thank you, Father, and we pray that you be pleased tonight. Please bless those who could not come tonight yes, and bless those that have come. Yes. These things we ask and pray in the precious name of Jesus. It is a me. So if I don't have sound, I don't know why. Amen. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless Amen. You. Amen. Well, <clears throat> You know, as you know, it was announced, we're in the book of John. But you know something? Today is Tuesday of Holy Week. Amen? Amen. So can we tell John we'll be back to him next time? Oh, all right. Is that all right? Yes. We'll, be, all right. we'll be right back with you, John. Oh, that's right. I, I know, amen, that, that, yes. that you're the disciple that Jesus loved. I, I, I get that. I understand that. And, and I pray he still love me by putting his son, John, off till next week. Is that all right? Yeah. yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So there's some, there, there's some things. So get your Bibles ready because we're going to be doing some stuff tonight that we might understand. <clears throat> Sometimes we go through life and, and what, what they say, living for the weekend. I believe there was a song about that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the eagle flies on Friday. Yeah. Saturday, I go out to play. Yeah. yeah. Sunday, I go to church, kneel down on my knees and pray. Okay, so you understand? Yeah. But sometimes a week can seem like a month. Mm -hmm. and, and for some reason, the church has gone from uh, Good Friday and jumped all the way over to next Sunday. Mm -hmm. And haven't talked about what happened that week at all. <clears throat> oh, okay. Amen. You know, most of the time we go someplace. How was your weekend? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, how was your week? Mm -hmm. If it's be Wednesday, we made it to hump day. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. Well, I want to talk to you a little bit about Sunday. Sunday, we 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 did Sunday, Sunday, didn't we? Yes. Mm -hmm. We talked about the triumphant entry. Yes. And, and I thought about that phrase, triumphant. What was triumphant about? He come in on a lowly beast, not a beast of war, but a beast of peace. We talked about that Sunday, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. So, so if we came in, if the Lord came in on a beast that represented peace and lowliness, you can see how some people, uh, Judas, was kind of upset because he wanted Jesus to be the victor that's going to unseat Caesar, yeah. kick him out of his position. <clears throat> get the Romans out of Jerusalem. That's what he wanted. That he, he, and, and, and what he really wanted, was because he was the treasurer, so when the new regime takes over, I'll still be treasurer, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Right. <clears throat> so in Matthew 21 and 2, so, so get your Bibles, uh, get your notebooks, amen, because there, there's some scriptures for every day of the week. How about that? Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And I'm going to have you reading for me too, so you better be, be ready. Be Hallelujah. ready. Amen. So Matthew 21 and 2, it's just saying unto them, go into the village over against you straightway, and ye shall find an ass tied and a colt with her. Loose them and bring them to me. Uh -huh. Now somebody grab me Matthew 21 and 12. Amen. Yes, sir. M Matthew 21, 12. Yes, sir. And it reads. You got read it. Yes, sir. And Jesus went into the temple of God uh -huh. and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple and overthrew the tables of the money changers. Okay. Go to 14. Yes, sir. And the blind and the lame came to him in the temple. Okay. And he healed, and he healed them. Oh, so, so right in the middle of his upsetness. Right. Because his father's house is a house of prayer. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. And they weren't praying. No. Well, actually, they were praying, all right. They were praying on people. 
right? It wasn't an A-Y, it was an E-Y. Come on, somebody. Come on. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. So, so it upset the Lord that the people would call his people, were taking advantage of his people. Hmm. I wonder hmm. if that's still happening today. If God is upset when Christian folk get upset with other Christian folk because they did them wrong. And then they say stuff like, well, you know you ain't supposed to sue me. You just did me wrong. Now you're going to lay the Bible on me and say I ain't supposed to sue you. <laughs> yeah. Well, the Bible says I ain't supposed to kill either. Okay, I just go. Yeah. And I can't be a brawler. <laughs> see, that would that <laughs> see, so you don't cut me off in every direction I could possibly think to go. I can't beat you down, I can't kill you, but you did me wrong. And now you want to smile and say, Hallelujah. Oh my God. Help us, Lord. There's 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 uh coincidence. There's what's the word? Coincidence? No, no, what's the word? Well, tell me what you're saying, then I might help you out. <laughs> you have to pay for what you did. Oh, well, consequences. Consequences. There's yeah, there's yeah. Consequences. But see, if you're going to have consequences and you did me wrong, I want God to do you now. Uh -huh. I don't want him to build a dossier up on you right. and then deal with you on the last day. Right. I want him to deal with you now. Wow. Get him. <laughs> but we don't serve an attack dog. Mm -hmm. We don't, we don't right. serve a mobster. Well, but uh, come on now. We don't serve. What's that woman's name? <laughs> uh, by this time tomorrow, you'll be as one of mine. Uh -huh. Come on, Jezebel. Come on, yeah, scholars. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, Look, let's just move on. And, and that was Sunday. And you would think now most preachers like having Mondays off because they 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 poured out, they had a kenosis, they emptied themselves out and took on everything they could think of and feel and ingest from the Lord. So now there was a kenosis, they dumped themselves out and pulled him in. Come Monday, they kind of tired. Yeah. yeah. For those of you out there, amen, with your pastors, take it easy on them sometime. They, they, some university did a blood test. They took the man's blood, checked him out, and then let him preach his little message, and they took blood again and said by the, the depletion in his body, in his blood system, was equal to an eight hour to work day. Mm -hmm. In one hour. I'll just leave that alone. Okay, now let's talk, can we talk about Monday? Yeah. Here come Monday. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. What happened on Monday? Mary anoints the Lord's feet. Mm. Judas rebukes Mary. Mm. Give me John 12, oh, that's all right, I got it. John 12, three and seven, three through seven. No, get that for me. John 12, uh, chapter 12, verse three. Then took Mary a pound of ointment and spikenard, very costly and anointed his feet, the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair. Yes. And the house was filled with the odor of the ointment. Mm. You got that? Yes, sir. Okay. Give me, give, give me uh, four. Then said one of his disciples. Yes. Judas Iscariot. Oh, come on, Judas. Simon's son. Uh huh. Which should betray him? Oh. oh. Now, see, John, when he wrote this, he had the, the, the benefit of knowing what happened. It wasn't that it was known to him what Judas was going to do. It was a hindsight thing. Isn't it something we have perfect hindsight? Yeah. And, and then we start thinking, if I would have, should have, could have, yeah, right. right. I'd have done it different. Right. Yeah. All right. Keep reading. Mm -hmm. Verse five. Mm -hmm. Why not? Why was not this ointment sold for 300 pence? Oh. And given to the poor. And given to the poor. This is the money man talking. Yeah. What what percentage you think he's gonna give to the poor? Oh my. Uh -huh. Yeah. I, I'm thinking maybe there's a decimal point and some zeros close to it, because yeah. I don't think he was thinking about paying nobody nothing, but yeah. that bag getting heavier for him. Yeah. Right. A a amen. Amen. Did we get seven? Six. Give me seven. Seven. Uh huh. Then said Jesus, "Let her alone. Mm. Against the day of my burying." 
kept this. Amen. I believe it was Luke that said, why trouble ye her? Amen. Mm -hmm. Why trouble ye the woman? Leave <laughs> the woman alone. Yes, sir. Don't trouble her. She's doing something for me. Yeah. Because see, he could see her heart. She wasn't doing it for uh, fame or fashion. She was doing it with tears in her eyes because her spirit was so heavy. Sure. Because she, said, she, she listened to the words of the Lord and he had told them so many times that my time has not yet come. That's right. mm -hmm. and, and now it's getting closer. Sure. The tension is building. The atmosphere in the city seems to be almost just right. And she can feel this and the spirit of God is touching her spirit anoint my son. Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah. Can you feel her heart? Anoint my son yeah. because he's about to come back home. Yeah. I don't know how many times I've heard, and it even happened in my own family. My, 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 my brother-in-law, him and his sons, they, oh, they wasn't getting along real good, but then all of a sudden, I need the phone numbers, all the boys, mm -hmm. and made peace with all the boys. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a month later, he was with the Lord. Ooh. I can't tell you how many times I've seen this happen, where they've been estranged, and all of a sudden, the Lord said, get back with them. Make peace with them. Because I'm bringing you home. Yeah. And it's not that I'm snatching your life out of your body. Yeah. I just happen to know when your date is due, and it's coming up, so fix this thing. Amen. My, my cousin laying in his bed, his last laying in the bed, and I said, do you have peace with the Lord? He said, yes. I said, does the Lord have peace with you? You know, it's good both ways, you know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, he said, yes. I said, so you have ought against no man and no man has ought against you? He said, no. And then that's when he told me something that's profound and stuck in my memory, and I'm going to share it with you again. He said, you know, that day that I was at the church, visiting at the church, I was sitting there holding, physically holding onto the seat because the Lord, the spirit of God was making me want to jump up. And I was struggling to hold myself down in that seat. Mm -hmm. Then he said, this is what he said to me. It shook my world. He says, I wonder if I'd be laying in this bed if I had to let go of that seat and got up and praised him like he told me to. Mm -hmm. Leave that alone. That was Monday. Can we go to Tuesday? Yeah. I don't want to go too fast now. Amen. Matthew 26, 33. Jesus tells of his betrayal. Now, you know, if there's a betrayal, we we'd like to think that we would find out hindsight. Yeah. But Jesus is going forward. The, the king is walking forward knowing who's going to betray him. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And not a, oh, God, help us. Mm -hmm. Let me, you got Matthew 26? Yes, sir. I'm excited. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just excited. Is, is that all right? Can I be excited? Yes, this is Holy Week. Come on. Come on. Holy Come on. Week. Yeah. Come on. Holy, yeah. holy, yeah. holy yeah. is the Lord God Almighty. Holy. 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 You got Matthew 26, 33? 33. Read it. Peter answered and said unto him, uh -huh. Though all men shall be offended because of thee, uh -oh. yet will I never be offended. Woo! So, so not only does he tell of his betrayal, he's going to tell us somebody going to deny him. So, 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 so it, it, at least we be offended, Lord. Yeah. He says, you won't be offended. What are you saying? My wife was in Costco. Man walk around with a cast like this. I mean, it was a brace. He couldn't put his arm down and save nothing. Hey, Amen. If he put his arm down, his body going to turn. He was in a, in a brace. And she says, what did you do? He says, I messed it up. He says, is it hurting? He'll say, oh, yeah, it hurt bad. She says, can I pray for you? He said, oh, that's okay. I, I guarantee you to stop hurting. Ah. And he looked at her and said, okay, go I ahead. Guarantee it's going to be healed. He said, I, oh, I guarantee it's going to be healed. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. I remember and, and, and he said, there. go ahead. And she prayed for him. And he looked at her like, ah, because the pain left. Yes. He started moving around. He said, he said how'd that happen? Yep. <laughs> now, why did God allow that to happen? Because yeah. now he can be a witness and no, can nobody deny it. Yeah. Right? Yes, and she was not ashamed. Now, if she had a prayed her little heart out and nothing happened, I guess you could lean back on take two aspirin, call me tomorrow, but she didn't have to. She said, right now, right now, you'll be here. Now. And he started moving that shoulder around. How'd you do that? How'd that happen? <laughs> That's what she said. Read. 34. Mm -hmm. Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, that this night before the cock crows, thou shalt deny me thrice. Oh my God. Yes. Now, 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 now. Yes. It ain't happened yet. No. <laughs> but the Lord just said it's going to happen. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Given his track record. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do you think Peter felt? Mm -hmm. I felt like, well, you know, I, I, no, 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 Lord, I, I'm going, I'm going to hang in there. It's easy for us to say we're going to hang in there until our flesh feels some heat. Right. <laughs> then we start going, well, you know, uh, maybe you, you, you'd understand, Lord, because you know, seeing you knew it anyway. Mm -hmm. But, but the, the the record goes on to say that somebody said. You're one of his disciples. And he said, no. Sure did. No, sure. no, no, no. Yeah, uh -uh. Sure. And then another one said, you're one of his disciples. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. yes. He said, no, no. <laughs> yes, no. And then the third one, he started cussing. Oh. Oh, oh you, you, you. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Superlative, superlative. No. As soon as he did that. <laughs> I bet he wished there was some fried chicken somewhere that night because the Lord's word just came to pass. <laughs> Read. 35. Peter said unto him, though I should die with thee, yet will I not deny thee. Mm -hmm. Likewise also said all the disciples. Now, I'm going to ask you to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a question out here. I don't want you to answer it. I don't even want your eyes to move. Don't go, don't make no just. In fact, I won't even look at you. <laughs> How many times have you said, I'm not going to, right after you did it? Again. <laughs> it's amazing how strong we can be right after. Right. After we've satisfied the flesh. Uh, now it's easy to say, I am strong. Mm. Where were strong when, when the enticement came? Because see, to, to be tempted is not a sin. I'm sorry to mess some of y'all's theology up, right. but to be tempted is not a sin. To fall to the temptation is the right. sin. Right. But look, I, I... All right, let me see. Just the example I used the other day, pardon my grossness. Anybody like cow chip tea? <laughs> cow you chip heard that, huh? Oh, yeah. See, the old folks, you, you, you don't no. know what that is? No. So you ain't never had no cow chip tea? Okay. Uh, you, you, uh, metal muffins? Cow pies. <laughs> cow pie tea. Where you take the pinch of it and you put it in a cloth and you put a and then you put it in hot water and it's supposed to cure a cold. I think it cure everything because I think it's gonna kill me. You're gonna have to kill me, get me to drink that. Right. But but you understand what I'm saying? Uh, I can't entice you with that. No, you can't. So therefore I can't tempt you with that. No, you can't. <laughs> you no. can't tempt me with no. See, no. she understands something, church. We be so busy. We so busy trying to deal with temptation. When it's not the temptation we need to worry about. It's the enticement. Yes, sir. I can't entice you with something you don't want. 
I can't tempt you with something you don't want. Look, some of y'all like chocolate, but my grandson, you can't tempt him with chocolate. He don't like it. So y'all should have him around you, those that love chocolate, because see, there won't be no competition. He don't want none. Amen. Yeah, now he'll wrestle you down for a gummy bear. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But see, what I'm saying is this. The Bible says, if you submit yourself unto the Lord, somebody say first, first. then resist the devil, who gonna flee? The devil, the devil flees. So, so it says, submit yourself unto the Lord, resist the devil, he shall flee. Yeah. When it comes to temptation, you flee. Yeah. Say what? The church has got it backwards. They're trying to resist temptation. You know you ain't supposed to be in the candy store. Well, I just come to look. What's that in your hand? Well, I was just looking at it, right. and I was taking some home for my wife. Right. <laughs> and, ate up, and you don't ate half the box. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Yeah, yeah that's the kind of mercy. <laughs> But you see where we get it twisted? Yeah. We get it mismatched. We want to we want to run from the devil and resist the temptation. On, he said, no, run from the temptation, resist the devil. Amen. But submit yourself unto the Lord first. Otherwise, it's like putting your hands in your pocket and say, let's fight. Huh. How are you going to fist fight somebody with your hands in your pocket? Right. What you can do block block the punches with your face. <laughs> OK, see, let's listen. Let me know how that work out for you. Oh, that's that. Yeah, because right after we mess up, now we really condemn. So now we really get strong. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I keep moving around. <laughs> mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. But you understand. Does it make sense? Got you. Okay. Yes, sir. Read 36. 36. Then cometh Jesus with them unto a place called the Sinai. And said unto the disciples, Sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. Yes. I, I, I would like to point something out to you. Nowhere in scripture can I find where Jesus prayed with his disciples. He always went off by himself yes, he did. because his conversation with the Father was between him and God. In fact, the scriptures tell us about the fellows that stand on the corner. Praying out loud. Yeah. And the scriptures say, okay, you've received your reward. But I didn't get nothing. No, yes, you did. You got notoriety. Everybody saw you praying. You're so eloquent at it. You're just really nice prayer. And it, it was just, you know, it was really cool and you know, and, and it was smooth. Reward. But when Jesus went to pray, something happened. When Lazarus was in the tomb, and Jesus got out in front of the front of the <clears throat> front of the hole in the wall, yeah. he said, "Father, we've spoken about this." Yeah. What do you mean we've spoken about this? We pray. I was praying to you. We've spoken about this because prayer is talking to God. Amen. Amen. Yes, it is. Time after time after time. Yeah. Push out on the boat. I see you on the other side. I'm going up yonder. Amen. And he went up to the mountain till after it was dark. He prayed till after it was dark. Yeah. He went from dinner time that day, so around four or five o'clock, mm -hmm, because at six o'clock, six o one, it becomes the next day, according to the Hebrew clock. In fact, today would be actually tomorrow. This is actually Wednesday to the Hebrew clock. You understand what I'm saying? So he went up on the hill. The sun was still up, but by the time he came down. The sun was down. He came down the next day. I'll just move on. <laughs> All right. Every time the Lord prayed to the Father, something happened. When it comes to the saints of God, every time you pray in the will of God, something has got to happen. He's already set the precedent. 
Something's got to happen. One fellow said, Lord, I believe, but help me with my unbelief. What are you saying? I've seen your miracles, so I know you're capable of. But help me with my child. Yes, Lord. My child needs you. And there's nothing I can do or anyone else can do, only you can do. Yeah. Uh, President Winston said, oh, only, only you can do it. Only you can do it. Only you can do it. Hey! Only he can do it. Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> yes, sir. It's beyond the doctor's capability. Yeah, Only yeah. he can do it. The yes. best can't do it. Yeah. Glory. Glory. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey. Hey. Paramedic can't hey. do it. Hey. Surgeon can't do it. No, sir. Advisors can't do it. Mom and them. Mom and daddy can't do it. But oh, God. Glory. Oh, God. He can do it. Did we do 36 yet? Was that 36? Let me just move on. That was Tuesday. Can we get to Wednesday? Yes, sir. I think I might have switched some stuff up, but give me Luke 22. We're going to go one through seven on this one. Judas betrays Jesus to the Sanhedrin. I found something particularly interesting in these scriptures. Luke 22 and one? One through seven. And you now, get wait wait, and you get me Matthew 26, 1 through 24. Read. Now the feast of the unleavened bread uh -huh. drew nigh. It's getting close. Yes, sir. Which is called the Passover. The Passover. <laughs> and the chief priest. Chief priest. What's my name? Go ahead. Ed Scribe. Uh-huh. Sought how they might kill him. They're gonna plot to kill the Lord. Yeah. For they feared the people. The only thing keeping me from killing that man Jesus is the crowd. Yeah. And the only reason they would hurt me is because he's what he's done for them. You know, there's some demons who wish you did, but can't yeah. touch you for reprisal of the Lord. I couldn't imagine you showing up to heaven early. Lord, look at you. What you doing here? He killeth me. Oh, no, English on you. He killeth me. Who killeth you? Him. I'm going to get him now. <laughs> Woo. It, can you imagine on the last day when the enemy is going to have to pray for everything he's done? Mm. Let me just move on. Yeah. Ah, read. Then entered Satan unto Judas, surname is Carol, being of the number of the twelve. Yeah. Then entered the devil. Yeah. Not into the room. Into the disciple. Yeah. Mm. I heard somebody say that as long as you're with God, as long as you're with Jesus, you can't be occupied. By a demon or a devil. Yes, Lord. I heard somebody say in Hebrews that can you crucify the Lord afresh? Mm. Being having him save you again. No. So is it possible that he was going along with what they were saying, but it was never in his heart? Mm. He's claimed he loved the Lord. Now John loved the Lord. Yes. Peter was zealous, loved yes. the Lord. Yes. Bartholomew hey. loved the Lord. Yes. Philip loved the twelve. The eleven loved the Lord, but there was one. His heart wasn't in it. Can you tell when somebody's heart ain't in it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 You, you, you spend a little time. It, it, come on, ladies. I know he might be six foot nine, fine as wine, but it give us some time. Ah. That mask gonna get tired of being held up. You're gonna put it down and you're gonna be like, whoa, where'd you come from? Yes, give us some time. Hold on to the fruit. Yes. <laughs> no. 
The Lord knew. In fact, that's coming up too. Woo Jesus. I, I, I want you to think about something real quick, real quick. Hold, hold your thought. Don't forget. Hold your thought. If Jesus came and stood here and said, ask a question, do you really love me? Mm. Mm. Somebody say soul searching time. Soul searching time. You'll begin to doubt yourself. Now, now, now that time that he told me to do and I didn't do, oh, is that going to be on my record? Oh, God. It, 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 and I should have done, but it, I shouldn't have done, but I did. Oh, God. Lord, please have mercy on me. You wouldn't say, yeah, Lord. I don't know if there's any Peters in the house. But there might be some humility show up. Say, Lord, search my heart. Yeah. I believe that I love you. But Paul said to the, the church, <laughs> oh, you foolish Galatians, Galatians. who has bewitched you? Who had you thinking you love God? Started out loving God. And you don't. Not yeah. truly. Yeah. It's kind of like, uh, what, what kind of love are we talking about? Because see, yeah. one kind of love says, I'm so excited that I just can't hide. <laughs> but the other kind says, I don't want to do it, but you do it. I don't want to go, but you go. <laughs> so you look, it ain't abnormal to not want to do something you don't want to do. But it's not obedience to don't do it. They talked about the two sons. One said, I'll be there in a minute. Gone. The other one said, I don't want to. Got up and did it. Now, who was more faithful? The one that did. Yeah. Amen. Your thought. Uh, <laughs> I told you don't lose it. I, was I had some money on it over here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. I got some bullets I got to get. I'm only on Wednesday. Double-minded. Double That's a, a scary word. It was double-minded. As he said, I, I, you know, I don't know if he was double-minded as much he was single-focused on the money bag. Mm -hmm. And gaining power. Right. But, but he no, was a liar. Oh, what play? What, that's it. <laughs> yeah, he, he was a liar. Why, is, why do you say that? I can safely say that because I know who his daddy is. I read the book. Right. The Bible just, you just read it. He said the devil entered him. Yeah. yeah. But understand something. What's the difference between a rim and a tire? The rim holds the tire. Can you switch it? No. If you could, what would happen? You wouldn't roll. It wouldn't work. They need each other. Well, yeah, they needed each other, but they need each other in a certain order. Order. Because if you got it backwards, your steering and directional stability is well. It's gone. Yeah. You turn like this, you go. You turn like that, you try and stop, mm -mm. try and take off. Well, and maybe a little while. You understand what I'm saying? Sure. So, so to have a heart that's possessed by the devil, single mindedness mm -hmm. and hell bound. Amen. Sure. So he says, Let this mind be in you. Come on, scholars, let this mind be in. You, which was also in Christ. Christ. Jesus. Your hand. Well, see, here, here's the catch. One of you will. will. The, 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 it's already declared. One of you will. Now, was that to the one that was going to? No, that was to the whole crowd, the whole room. He said, one of you going to betray me. He knew who it was. He knew who it was. Because before he finished the whole deal, he said, the one is dipping in the bowl with me now. So there was another hand in the bowl at the same time. Because that's how they ate. It was a community dinner. 
You take your bread and you sop it. Right? Old folk call it sopping. <laughs> you get a piece of roll and you rub it in the gravy. Amen. A bowl of gravy. And you, yeah, his hand was in the... I mean, can you imagine being busted out? The one that's supper to me now. <laughs> oh. 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 Sure. <laughs> I've been busted. Uh, read. 42 and 4. Uh -huh. And he went his way and communed with the chief priests okay. and captains how he might betray him unto them. Mm -hmm. So Judas was uh, betraying Jesus unto the priests. Keep reading. And they were glad and coveted to give him money. So we struck a deal. We got somebody that's going to tell us who this Jesus is. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm confused, Holy Spirit. Did you blind their eyes? Because they had people watching him everywhere. Didn't you have like a all points bulletin out for this man? Didn't you kind of know what he looked like? Didn't you kind of know what his, his movements were and his, his, his actions were that he kept healing people? It wouldn't be too hard to find out who is this guy that keeps healing people. Uh huh. But see, now they have struck a deal, a conspiracy, because the leaders weren't out there. Caiaphas was sending his pe people out to do his dirty work. Otherwise, he'd know who Jesus was. And all he'd need to know is, is one of you sent, uh, 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 guards know what he looked like. If you don't, yeah. go get it. You wouldn't need a Judas. But their eyes were blinded out of fear, so they hid out at the, at the, at the synagogue and let the other folks go out and do their dirty work. Isn't it funny how they do stuff like that? They, they want you to do wrong while they try to keep their hands clean, and then you get caught in it. I don't want to know about that. <laughs> Isn't that how the devil do it now? Yeah. Go ahead. Do it. Do it. Won't well, nobody know. Nobody will find out. And as soon as you do it, oh, he did it. And then you stand before the judge and you say, well, he, he, he was here a minute ago. Right. Now he's looking through the window laughing at you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that 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 piece of cake, that that sweetie pie looking cupcake mm -hmm. with the nice dress on, mm -hmm. and, and that, that 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 strapping piece of cake with the big mm -hmm. chest. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. Now you're in trouble. Yep. <laughs> where's the where is he now? He don't throw a dart at you, and you took it, yeah, exactly. and and you put it in your heart and conceived, took seed and became sin. Mm. Double crossed again. And the, the crazy part about it is it worked before. Again. You catch that? What'd you say? It worked before. Again. Oh. No, I ain't talking about nip you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I'm talking about like this week. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm talking about this week. Facebook. Look, you did wrong. You prayed and you asked God to forgive you, and He said He's just and true to forgive. Amen. If you sincere and you were sincere in your heart because you know you're guilty of sin itself, and you said, I ain't gonna do it no more with all sincerity of heart until you did it again. Mm -hmm. Should we send that grace may abound? So it seems like every time we do it, we get a little further from God, but we don't get that closer to him. Yeah. It's like a click and another click, and I can't get back as close as I was when I first found him. That's right. Yeah. At the cross. Mm. Okay. Well, I first saw the light, yes. and the burdens of my heart. Oh, you know that song? It was there. Come on. It was there by faith. 
Yeah, and then every time you keep sinning, you're a little less happy. That's right, Pastor. Because you let the enemy keep talking to you. Yeah. Entertaining thoughts. Well, he forgave me last time. Yeah. Resist the devil. <clears throat> yes, please. So what happens when you resist and you obey? What happens on that split time? Well, if you resist with all you have, and let's say you overcome by the enemy, he'll forget that. It's like if one of your kids, this is how we do. If one of your kids is acting like they got a deal, and maybe they do, I don't know. <laughs> what do you do as a parent? Oh, what did I do wrong? Yeah. Was it something I did? Mm-hmm. Was it something I displayed? Was it something I influenced? Was it was it me? Was it somebody else in the family? Was it my brother? Was it was it my sister? Was it my uncle? Who influenced this child to do this? Well, who influenced Judas? The devil. But, but, but look at the timeline. Judas was out there making deals, and then the devil came in. He opened the door. It wasn't like he had the demon in him and went and made the deal. He made the deal, then here comes the devil. Mm-hmm. Got you now. I put a seed in you, and it's taking birth. It's now hatched. It's coming forth. I'm coming in. After all, you are one of his disciples. You have a point where you could, I don't know. But see, watch this. It it, it was foretold before the framing of the world that Judas would betray him. What's your your least favorite anything put in your mouth? I'll say it like that, because some of you really like chocolate cake, some of you don't. Some of you really like okra, I ain't doing it. You like okra? Okay. <laughs> okay, so so it, it, it so if he does not like okra, and we go out to eat, and I say I get it for you, and I come back with a plate full of okra, <laughs> do, do you understand? Because I already know what he wants, and I already know what he's enticed by. Yeah. Will you say that he was that because of that he was deceived because. It goes back deeper than that. Somebody say deeper. Deeper. Because God foreknew his mind, before God knew his heart, before he got here, he let him come forth to walk this thing out because Jesus came to die. Yeah, he he had a purpose. His His purpose purpose. in life was to betray the Lord. If that don't make the average saint nervous, then let me try this. The righteous shall scarcely make it in. Mm. Yeah. I asked you one time because the Lord asked me, if I asked you to stay here through the tribulation, would you do it for me? That's like saying, I, I if I asked you to face the firing squad, would you do it for me? I remember, uh, what's that boy's name, North Korea? When his daddy died, there was somebody that did not cry when his daddy died. So he shot him no. with a SAM. What's a SAM? I'm glad you asked. A surface to air missile. Yeah. He stood the man against the wall and shot him with a rocket. Wow. There will soon be nothing left of me. Nothing left of him. Not a bullet, a rocket to prove a point. And everybody started, <laughs> ain't no tears coming up. Show them on TV. Fake crime. Now you know when you see a kid fake crying and they give him a, give him the ice cream. Yeah, you know they was faking. Right. You knew they were faking before you gave him the ice cream. Then people was fake crying, but this dude wouldn't do it and he killed him with a rocket. Having something predestined, and I thank God for Jesus, predestined for you to go through stuff and still call on his name. Let a man examine himself. Mm -hmm. Read. 
22 and 6. Uh -huh. And he promised and sought opportunity to betray, to betray him unto them in the absence of the multitude. On the down low, mm. I'm going to betray the Lord in secret. Will nobody know? Give me Matthew 26. You know what? Read Matthew 26 on your own. Go verse uh, one through 24, because for the for the sake of time, for the sake of time, we need to, uh, we need to do this. See, Judas betrayed Jesus to the Sanhedrin, yeah. but he didn't know it right first that they were going to kill him. <clears throat> Because there was still an opportunity for Jesus to take over the Sanhedrin and then take over Caesar's throne. And since he still get his power. But then he found out they're going to kill him. Mm -hmm. So he went back and said, here's your money back. They didn't want the money back. Nope, what they wanted, he had already delivered. He went and kissed Jesus on the cheek. Mm -hmm. Identifying him as the Lord. And Jesus stole him. Betrayed with a kiss. Yep. <laughs> That was Wednesday. Let's go Thursday. Uh, Jesus institutes the Eucharist, the, the, the Lord's, what we call the Lord's Supper. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the priestly order. Uh, Matthew 26, verses 26 through 30. Matthew 26, verses 26 through 30. This is Thursday. This is pretty, 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 you know, exciting week so far for the Lord. Amen. Yes, sir. I have it. You got it? Yes, sir. Read it. It reads, and as they and as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it, mm -hmm. and he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, "Take, eat. This is my body." Amen. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, "Drink ye all of it." All of it. All of it. Hallelujah. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many. For the remission of sin. Now somebody in the room had to go. Because <laughs> Jesus been in John, he been in John 27. He's up there talking about eat my body and drink my blood. And, and, and this just whoo, let me off the hook. I really don't have yes. to eat him. Yes. I don't have to be a cannibal. I don't have to drink blood. In fact, the Bible says I can't drink live blood. I can't eat it. I cannot ingest live blood. So for you people that like raw steak, mm. Mm -hmm. that's live blood. Okay, uh, read. But I say unto you, I will not drink hence forth of this fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new, drink it new with you and my father's kingdom. The next time we break bread, we're breaking it with the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh God. Let me let me let me, let me just okay. Uh, that was 26 through 30. I was putting that. No, 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 no. The assignment was 26, verse 26 through 30. I gotta move on. Yes, sir. Okay. A uh, uh, good Friday, passion. The passion of Christ, the death of our Lord. Uh, might give me Matthew 26. Uh through no, we ain't gonna do it that far, but through 50. That's the assignment. Matthew 26, verses 26 through 50. Amen. All right. All right. Now, now, when you read this, understand this: that, that the Lord, this is what a, what we'd like to call, refer to as the kangaroo court. Now, remember, he said, "I heal somebody, this one thing, and you, are you mad at me? Mm -hmm. Remember that? Uh huh. Yes, sir. You, you're making a big fuss, and all I did was heal one guy." On the Sabbath. On the Sabbath. But you sit there and circumcise on the Sabbath. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. Why? Yes. Because the eighth day of life, the little boy got it. Yeah. Right. And it, it, you know, kids ain't born when you want them. Nope. You, you don't know when the birthday is till after the birthday. Mm -hmm. Right. You don't know the hour till it comes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. So when the Sabbath shows up, but it also is the eighth day of my child's birth. We got to do something because you can't do it on the ninth day. You got to do it on the eighth day. That's your rule. Well, see, their rules counter to each other. 
because the Sabbath was made for man and man wasn't made for the Sabbath. Right. Hmm. Time was made for, uh huh. Not, we, we weren't made for time. Time was made for us. You with me tonight? Oh, yeah. Right. You, 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 you okay? All right. So, so now the question is you going to kill me? And all I did was heal a guy. Hmm. But you break the law. You break your own law. Yeah. How you figure? They had court at night. Yeah. It was a Levitical law that it had to be in the daytime. Yeah. Normal business hours. <laughs> well. And you have it at night and not even in a public place. You're doing it at Caiaphas' house. Mm. On the sneaky sneak. Mm. Hmm. So you breaking your own law. And now you trying to kill me. They, they, they punched him. They ripped tufts out of his beard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tore his oh, put a crown, oh, just yeah. all kind of stuff to him. Took him to Pilate, said, uh, we need you to kill him. Because it wasn't lawful for them to do it. Right. Because they were occupied right. by the Romans. So they wanted to throw it on Pilate. Let me shortcake this thing. Pilate's wife had a vision in a dream. Yeah. And she said, leave this man alone. He's innocent. <laughs> no relation. <laughs> right? The name of Claudia. No relation, right? <laughs> Amen. She said, leave this man alone. He's innocent. Right. Now, Caiaphas is in, Pilate's in a tough place. If I don't do something, they're going to riot. If they riot, Caesar's going to hear about it, and I'm going to get fired. Hmm. Ah. So are you the king of the Jews? He said, you said. Why? Remember the law? I can't say nothing about me within 14 miles of where I stand. So I cannot stand here and tell you that I'm Jesus, Pilate. But you say it. Is it coming together now? Yes, sir. Okay. Let, 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 me, let me just... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, oh. There's so much here. It can't be done in one night, but I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to nutshell it. Amen. So, so now they get him up there. If you read Matthew 26, 26 through 50, you'll see Caiaphas sitting there saying, it is better that one die than all of us. Why, why, why? Because he thinks Jesus is a rebel. He thinks he's going to cause Pilate to be upset and the Roman soldiers going to come kill us all. He doesn't understand the Father's will. All you had to do, Caiaphas, is read the scriptures. But see, you have to have the Spirit of God in your heart when you read the scriptures to understand. The only one that came close to it was Nick. I'm sorry, Nicodemus. Right. <laughs> Because he came to the house at night. I know you the one. Why don't you say something in front of your buddies? Oh, no, no, no. I get kicked out the club. In fact, I got to go because the sun getting ready to come up. Right. Hey, man, you, you understand what I'm saying? He's sneaky sneaking. All right. So now, now, oh, God. Now the Lord is about to be crucified. And, and then this coming Friday, a little, little station identification here, this coming Friday, we're having the last say, seven sayings of Christ. Right. Yeah. Yeah. At, at this little portion here between 26 and 50 is where you hear the last seven sayings. And, and oh, God. He took time out of dying. In fact, come this Sunday, tough service. It's, it's, the visual effect in your mind is going to be hard to take. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But see, the scripture said in Ephesians 4, 1 through 10, that Jesus descended, took captivity captive, took the keys of the gates of hell. What does this mean? The gates represent the power. God! The, <laughs> the gates represent power because you keep your enemy on the outside of the gate. 
But see, if you got no gates, come on, Samson, tell them. I tore the gates off, took them down the road, threw them on the side of the road. Why? Because it took the city's power away. They had no power to defend themselves with no gate. He went down into hell, took the keys to the gates of hell from the enemy. What are you saying? You can't lock them out. You can't lock them in. I got the key to life and death. Mm. Woo. But see, and this is Saturday. We all the way to Saturday. Come on. Mm -hmm. He ain't showed up yet. He descended. Then he came back, leading captivity captive. But something else happened. Aside from the fact, somebody said he got up. He got up. Uh, see, can you imagine the meeting in hell? Mm -hmm. Hey, death. Huh? Did you get him? I got him. I got him. I gave him the grave. Grave? Yep. You got him? I checked him in. But do you have him? Hold on a second. Uh -oh. uh, so see, see, see what happened was, I think death didn't do his job because he ain't dead. <laughs> there gotta be some of that going on down there too. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Because see, if death killed him, then why ain't he in the grave? Right. He got out. Wait a minute, didn't they roll a stone? Well, what happened was, uh, somebody moved the rock. Who moved the rock? Angel. Because he was sitting on top of it when Mary showed up. Uh, John 20 and 17. John 20 and 17. Get it quickly. I'm almost out of time. I only got three minutes. Ooh. Got it? Read it. These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven uh -huh. and said, Father, yes. the hour is come. Yes. Glorify thou son. Yes. And thy son also come on. may glorify thee. Okay. That was 2017. You got a different 2017? John 2017 or first John 2017? John. 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 His name is John. <laughs> Love it, John. Oh, he's got a different Bible. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Then he shows up in the garden. Awesome. Right by the cemetery. Here come Mary to dress the Bible. Come on, Pat. Because they had to get him in the ground quick. Why? Yeah. Passover. We can't have nobody hanging on the cross during Passover. If you do that, there'll be a riot in the city and you're going to lose power, Pilate. So they, they, they rushed him off in there. They didn't prepare his body. No. You with me, y'all? Yes, sir. Not everybody. You Not with everybody. me? Yes, sir. They didn't prepare the body. So now here come Mary with the, with the spices going. And, and, and the angel said, why are you looking for the living amongst the dead? Yes, Because see, the connection ain't come yet. Because he said, in three days, I'm going to raise this temple up again. Oh, come on now. I said, in three days, yes, sir. I am going to raise this temple up again. Yes, Because I have, I'm not having my life taken, I'm giving it up. And if I give it up, I can take it back. And I'm giving, I'm getting up in three days. Oh God. Now here come Mary. Here come Mary. And she says, he says, touch me not. Don't touch me. Can't touch this. Mm -hmm. okay. But see, why can't he, she touch? Oh God, I just want to love on you like I've always done. I've always fell to your feet and touched your feet. Remember, I anointed them rascals. I draw them with my hair. It's me, Mary. He said, no, 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 don't touch me. Leviticus 4 says that if the high priest anoints and accepts the offering, remember Caiaphas? It's better that one die than all of us. Yeah. He certified the gift.
taken. Then in Leviticus 4, they say you would take the blood, amen, and he would go and sprinkle it on the holes of the altar. But see, before he did that, he had to take off the, 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 the robe of many colors. The stones had 12 stones. Come on, Mary. Come on, come on now. You know what I'm talking about? She, she got that dress. She prayed there. It got 12 stones on it, representing all 12 tribes. She had to take that off. And underneath was an all-white ephod. And he would take the blood and, and, and he would sprinkle on the horns and he'd sprinkle on the altar. And then he would go back and put that robe back on. And down at the bottom of the robe is pomegranate uh, bell, pomegranate bell, pomegranate bell, all the way around the bottom. So when the people heard them bells ringing again, they knew they had peace with God. Because if God rejected it, the priest died. Yeah. 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 I'm sure glad that part is done. Yes, Because if there was anything unrighteous about that man, he died. Don't you come in my holies of holies unrighteous. You come in here, you will be drug out. That's how you get out. Because if you go in there with him in there, you die too. Yes, mm. Clean up, crew. Mm -mm. <laughs> right. I, I, mm -mm. The rope come off. We'll just leave him in there. He's stinking. Okay. He's just going to stink because I ain't going in there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, sir. Yeah, Pastor Terry, die. Ah, no, Mike, sir. you coming? No, sir. I ain't going in there. <laughs> I love you, Pastor. <laughs> well, I don't love you that much. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And I, you know what? You had a little old woman on the back of your head. No. No. Uh -uh. No, you ain't going in there. No, 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 no. And him hold on to mama. No, mama, no. Let go of him. Might get you too. All right. So in Levitical law, once the offering, the sacrifice was certified by the high priest, yes, by the high priest, then it could be offered. Then here come the blood. Jesus said, don't touch me. Why? Because when the high priest had the blood, nobody could touch him. Amen. If they touched him, we got to get another offering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one is no good. Can you imagine Jesus going through everything he went through to have Mary touch him and nullify the whole thing? Woo. We don't have a busy week oh, yes, sir. Very to have all that nullified. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. So this man pushed his robe back on, and he comes jingling out of there. The people break out in praise because they got peace with God for another year. But what they don't understand, that he said, don't touch me, Mary, because I have not yet ascended. What don't it say? I have not yet ascended to my father. Touch me not, for I have not yet ascended to my father. But go and go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend unto my father and your father. And my God and your God. Yes, sir. I'm going to go see daddy. I'm taking my blood with me. And when I get there, I'm going to give it to him. And he. And we got peace with the father. Not for another year. Yeah. Because this temporal animal wasn't it. You have an eternal God. Yeah. The word walking. It was the king walking. His blood gave us purity for the rest of Eternity yes, sir. Yes, sir. gave us access. Somebody say access. Okay. Gave us access to eternal life. Oh. And watch this. Watch this. Can I have one more minute? Came back down. They all hiding in the upper room because me they tell my brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was another story. If I could tell, week two. Uh, go on down there in Jerusalem. Go to up, you know, gather together. They went to the upper room, yeah. and 120 brothers and sisters up in that room. No, 120 brothers, Jewish brothers, 120 Jewish brothers in the upper room, scared. Yeah, because all through the city, Romans and Caiaphas mm -hmm. and his cronies looking for us. Got my leader, but you didn't get me. Oh, you still after me. They wanted to wipe out the faction. Yes. The believers. We weren't called Christians yet. That wasn't until 70 AD. 70 years later, we'd be starting to call Christians. But Christians only used twice in the Bible. Saints over 250 times. Now, 
Can you saints in the house? Oh, yeah. All right, all right. All right. All right. So, so now Jesus shows up in the upper room. Now remember, they're scared, right? They were scared, brother. Now, but hey, they were scared, and, and they're scared. So he said, the door was locked. And here comes Jesus. Hey, yo. Hey, look, I'm paraphrasing. Don't be scared. It's me. Ah! And, and then he said, go ahead, put your finger there. Put your finger there. It's me. He still wore the scar from his puncturing where it punctured his pericardial sac and blood and water came out of his side, birthing the church. He showed his hands and his feet what he'd been through. It's yeah. me. Yeah. And they said, yeah. Now remember, there's 120 folks up there, 11 disciples. I thought you were scholars. 10 disciples. Thomas wasn't there. See? I did that at I did that at Colossal Cedars College too. I say something. How about that formula? Yeah, you did your homework. Yeah, and one person said no. Why? Because that formula you gave us don't work. Ah, that's good. That's good. And everybody else look good. Uh oh. <laughs> you got cookie crumbs all around uh -oh. your mouth. Come on, come on, come on. Don't start fucking the tongues now. Uh huh. No, there's only ten disciples. Thomas wasn't there. So what Jesus do? He came back. Isn't that some? He came back. Wouldn't it be j just nice to know that if, if you wouldn't let Jesus come back for you? Yes. Yes. They call him Doubt Doubting Thomas. He wasn't doubting. Mm -hmm. Thomas was analytical. I checked out his profile. That brother's analytical. He used data. He wanted to know what kind of data we had. What kind of data? Work, what worked last time? What's going to work this time? How are we going to do it? What, what point of reference do we have? What's the record show? He was analytical. Mm. Peter was the zealot, but Thomas was the data guy. Mm. Don't, don't, look at those folks in heaven sitting there saying, him? You, you gonna save him? Yeah, yeah, him? Pastor, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh yes, oh yeah. Look, when you get to heaven, they're gonna be tomorrow. Where is he, where is he? He ain't here? Would he die before me? Oh. Okay. Hey, what's up? <laughs> and then there's some people going to show up. And people are going to go, you made it? Right. You made it. How'd you make it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Look here. I say it like this. When the gate closed, I don't care if I catch my coattail. Just let me in. I can leave the coat hanging there. Right? Just let me in. Let me in. Amen. So Jesus fulfilled, I think it was like 310 different prophecies. Prophecies. Now, now, now tell me something. What you ate for dinner tonight or last night, you couldn't have told nobody a week ago, what you was going to eat. Unless you got one strict diet. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. In fact, they said to fulfill eight of them. Some mathematician figured this out. I remember this stuff because it drives me nuts. Not that it drives me nuts to know it. It drives me nuts that I can't forget it. To fulfill eight prophecies. Jesus did 310. To fulfill eight prophecies would be the equivalent of covering the state of Texas with quarters hmm. wow. and walking out in that state full of quarters and picking up the one that had the mark on it that you were supposed to find. <laughs> because it was one in 27, no, one in 1,000 to the 27th, one in 10,000 to the 27th power. What does that mean? Impossible. Yeah. To fulfill 310? No, it's impossible to do eight. How are you going to decide where you're born? Yes, sir. Who are you born to? Yes, sir. Who going to betray you? Yes, sir. What city you'd be born in? 
You can't control none of that. No. No. You, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But he did it all. Did. Proving that when he told them, brothers, the book of Isaiah, I think it was 53, is fulfilled in your sight. Mm -hmm. They were ready to throw him off a cliff. Instead of examining, saying, oh, you're right. But they had to do it that way because the Son of Man had to be lifted up. Because if he didn't get lifted up, your being here is in vain. If he didn't get up, your being here is in vain. Christmas is nice, but if there was no Easter, if there was no empty tomb, your being here would be in vain. And that ain't Terry, Pastor Terry. That's the Apostle Paul. God bless you. Bless you. I didn't want to go that fast, but bless you. Bless you. Yeah. Any questions, thoughts? Can you, um, when you were talking about the little, the last supper, the supper of the Lord, and then you were about like, what do you see when you say that that we break, we break our bodies with Jesus when we do that, when we take the bread? Oh, the Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians 12, 11, uh, 23, that this bread represents my body, yes. which is broken for you. Yes. He was foretelling what was about to happen to him this week. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'd be break bread that that stuff been all over the room. <laughs> Knowing what was about to happen to him because mm -hmm. he knew, foreknew what was going to happen to him. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to be executed. What state am I in? Do they do lethal injection, electrical, uh, a bullet, a, a, a rope? How do, how do they do it here? No. He knew yeah. what was going to happen to him. And he said, Father, can we find another way? God didn't say nothing. Then he said, nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. Then the angel came and encouraged him. Not first. Sometimes we get in trouble and we think, God, send me some help. Send me some encouragement. No, I put the encouragement in you already. Thy word have I had. Thy word have I hidden in your heart that you won't sin against me because to be di disobedient to me is to sin against me. Yes, Don't yes. do it. Stick with the plan yes, because right. if you stick with your plan, then the pair of you, when you cross paths with your next partner, that, that, that's going to be, you know, on their plot and they're going to meet at the right place at the right time, you will be just fine. Remember, son, you just coming home. So you celebrated in 1 Corinthians what you read here in Matthew. Because remember, Paul wrote that after. Because in the book of Acts, he was still a kid. Mm -hmm. mm. 40 writers over a 1500 year period of time. It was like they were sitting in the room taking notes from the same lecture. They were called Holy Spirit. Yeah. That's his name. Yeah. He's the teacher. Yeah. By nature, he's a teacher. Yeah. By what he does, he's a teacher. Mm -hmm. So people say, apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, teacher. It might be a little finger, but a teacher is powerful. Oh, yeah. Holy Spirit's a teacher. Oh, wow. He's a teacher and a restrainer. He's holding back the devil now. With all the mess going on, all these shootings and stuff going on, it's still he's restraining. Why is this kind of stuff going on? Because of what we're doing with the dominion he gave us. Yeah. He gave us dominion, and this is what we do with it. We kick Christ out the church and wonder when they why they grow up and turn into. Mm -hmm. It ain't the gun; it's the knucklehead with the gun in his hand. Right. right. You took prayer out of schools. Are you happy now? You try to take uh, prayer out the courtroom, images out the courtroom, Ten Commandments out the courtroom. Are you happy now? You got people that, that in, in scripture would respect one another. 
Now you walk around like somebody got to earn your respect. Who are you? <laughs> but they're walking around hating, division, dividing. They want everybody divided against everybody. It ain't enough to have independents, Republican and, and, and Democrats. Now we got to have uh, poor Democrats versus rich Democrats versus middle class Democrats. Then we got to separate those into races. Then we got to separate those into where you were you a, uh, were you an American born Mexican or a Mexico Mexican because I'm gonna treat you different. If there's a way to chop this pie up, they don't chop it up. Mm -hmm. Now it's just a big mess. Are you happy now? Mm. What's the what, what? What can we do, Pastor? This sounds so great. If my people, mm. which are called by my name. Yes, sir. Humble yourself. There was a time when this country had purpose, and the purpose was to share the gospel and yeah. democracy. Yeah. Everybody, if you saw somebody doing somebody wrong, you'd step in and say, Don't do that. N now, what do we do? We can. What are you doing? I'm putting on uh, TikTok or Facebook. Look at him, beating him, beating him, stabbing him, shooting him. That's all you're interested in? What's in it for me? I'm going to be famous. I'm the guy that put it on TikTok. Uh -huh. It's all about you. It's not about you. It never was about you. We, this country had purpose. Now it's got no purpose. People being slaughtered. Ain't my problem. What did Jesus say about the Samaritan? If, he, if there was a Samaritan now, they, they, let him lead, let him, just let him bleed. Come on, be late. They wouldn't think about nobody else but themselves. It's greed. It's all about greed. It's no longer about the kingdom. Come back to the kingdom and see God's hand moving this country again. Amen. I'm Amen. done. I want you to read it. Brian wrote. Brian wrote something? Yeah, he can, he can repeat it. Yeah. Would you? Is it? One million seconds. No, no. Oh. <laughs> out, of, out of what you said about those quarters, he said it, that's one with 108 zeros behind it. Go ahead and repeat what you said, Brian. Unmute yourself. Wait, hold on. The, the, the chances of Jesus having all those miracles is a one with 108 zeros behind it. The name of that is one octodectillion. Uh, to put that in um, real terms, one million seconds is equal to 11 days. One octodectillion seconds is 31, hold on, billion, oh, billion, trillion, quadrillion, 31 queen trillion, 688 quadrillion, 738 trillion, 506 billion eight hundred and eleven million four hundred and three thousand years <laughs> years yeah, yeah. that's crazy stuff, that's crazy stuff. Why isn't our good god good <laughs> yeah that's a lot yeah that's, that's, that's my answer <laughs> can you repeat it no i can repeat what he said that's a lot All right. that's impossible, it's impossible by man's standards yes yeah. oh that's crazy Thank you, Brian. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Brother Brian. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand. Oh, praise. Oh, Holy Week. Praise you know, the Lord. That's cool, huh? That yeah, cool. Me too. I hadn't, I had he has never done that before every day by day. And just think, he walked 100 miles to do all that. Can I say something? It's crazy yeah, good. If you don't, <laughs> if you, you leave the details out, then, then the, the, the <laughs> if you leave the details out, it's easy to dismiss <laughs> the event. But with so many details fulfilled in a chronological order, it's undeniable. It's undeniable. But see, all you say, I'm a Christian. Why? Because my grandma was one? No. What about the details? What were her details? 
What did you go through? You might have been Christian just because she was one and, and you stuck with God. Yeah. But what did, what kind of hell? It was like hell week. What kind of hell did you go through? Yeah. Because most folks don't have a, you know, silver spoon uh, event in their life and then decide, I think I'm going to be a Christian. You don't been through something mm -hmm. and you don't seen his hand move in your life. Yeah. And then said, I'm sticking with him. Because mm -hmm. everybody that I know of can't come close to him. I know too much about him. There you go. I just can't doubt it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give him a hand praise. Hey! hey. Woo! Woo! Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Okay, Facebook. Facebook, I'm going to let you guys go. Bless God. <laughs> Go ahead, baby. I said, Terry, I, I think that it's not just because we are celebrating Holy Week this week. I think we should teach us more deeper. Not necessarily this week, 